personal. It's personal between me and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire probably presents something the boxing games are missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. All right, so I wanted to chime in on this and get and get my take on this fight because this fight just recently got recently got done and, and signed and whatnot, and I did talk about it a little bit on the on my appearance on the Portaway podcast with Sean Porter. If you haven't checked it out, go go check it out on on, on the channel over there. But uh, Edgar Belanga, you know the chosen one, you know the New York City's very own Edgar Belanga, he has had an interesting career uh, to say the least. You know this guy. Early in his career was signed with Evander Holyfield's Real Deal Promotions. Um, you know, had a, had a, had a bit of a bad contract. You know, had to had to ask for a release early in his career. Got with ESPN. Got with Top Rank. Um, went on this knockout streak that really captivated the world and, and, and really had people you know glued to the TV screen every time he fought. You know, I think he, what was it? I it was a, a truckload of first round knockouts, and then he plateaued. He started fighting these wild. These experienced veterans like Steve Rolls and Romero Angulo, and he looked extremely average, extremely pedestrian, extremely like a fighter that isn't going to really do much at the world level. So now he's in matchroom boxing. Eddie Hearn has handed him a big bag of money, uh, taking the gamble on him in hopes that maybe if he does figure it out, if he does uh, recapture some of the form from early in his career, that he can be ready for a fight uh, to make a big mega event slash fight with. Canelo Alvarez, Mexico, Mexico versus Puerto Rico. That's kind of what he's angling for. I, I think personally the real fight to make is Edgar Belanga versus Diego Pacheco. And I, and I think it's a more fun fight, but that's just me. But uh, they made a fight happen. And as I predicted and as many people predicted, it, it's not necessarily a guy you consider a killer. He's fighting a, a, a good fighter, you know, a solid fighter, a guy with a good amateur background, a guy that's um mixed it up at a high level, but, but a fighter that really... You wouldn't consider a world level fighter and a fighter that really has most for the most part been uh out of sight out of mind for the better part of a year and a half now and that's uh ireland's very own jason quigley now i like jason quigley you know i got a lot of time for him he's a real fighter he'll fight anybody you know uh he did what, what a lot of fighters say they would do and don't do which is fight demetrius andre now that was the last time all of us saw him he fought demetrius andre in late 2021 and Demetrius Andre absolutely pulverized him, destroyed him, you know, stopped him in two rounds. And we haven't really seen or heard from him since. Now, I think apart from his own family and whatnot, I, I might be the only person in the world that, that, that knew or heard that he had a little stay busy fight because I'm one of these people that every now and then I go on box rack and I look at the schedule and I always look for the fights that aren't on TV to see if they have any notable names because you just never know what's happening, what those fights could be leading to. So I saw like two weeks, two weeks ago, I was um, just patrolling box rack, seeing what they had, seeing who, who, um, who was fighting soon. And I saw that he had a little stay busy fight and uh, it turns out he won that stay busy fight. So now he's active because for those that know and for those that don't know, when a fighter is not active for a year on box rec their their status uh, is inactive the in, even even in the rankings if they go on if they're inactive for a year uh obviously the governing bodies don't follow their own rules but like if they do follow the rules the fighter gets removed from the rankings right so he's active again and now that he's active, uh, I guess Matchroom, Eddie Hearn, and the zone felt like that this was the type of opponent that Edgar Belanga needed at this point in his career. Now, uh, listen, we're not going to sugarcoat anything. Edgar ha has been away for a long time. He's had a lot of time to sharpen up his mind, his, his, his skills, everything. And he needs to really come out here and make a statement. I don't care if it's just Jason Quigley. Uh, you know, Jason Quigley is not a bum. This is a guy that was once ranked a top... He was once ranked a top... Um, 15 middleweight in the world this is an irish olympian this is a guy that's you know never been a, a top contender but you know a friend contender so just to even be a friend contender in boxing it's, it's, it's hard you know and, and you got to have a certain level of competency and capability um style wise quickly is a, a fighter that can box but uh for the most part pretty 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 straight up and down can be slick at times um likes to exchange probably more than he should and that gets him into trouble now mind you I didn't check to see like the last fight um, 
who he was fighting or what weight class he was fighting at. But generally speaking, he's a guy that's been at um, 160, a middleweight. He's been he's been a middleweight most of his career. So they picked him. He's a smaller guy coming up in weight who hasn't really been active. So he, you know, and, and, and he's not too far removed from a knockout loss. So um, we're looking for Edgar Belanga to show us some growth, some maturity, some fine tuning of the skills. You know, um, Edgar had this, early in his career. Edgar had the reputation that he could actually box. Everyone that I talk to that knows Edgar always says, oh, well, you know, he could he could really box back in the amateurs and he could really box back in his earlier years and whatnot. But uh, we haven't really seen a ton of that in, in his career. So I'm looking to see some of that. I'm looking I'm looking to some, some I'm looking to see some of the the monster, you know, the effing monster that he was when he had the knockout streak. I'm, I'm looking to see a bit of both, just some growth and some maturity and something that, that tells me and tells you guys, the boxing fans, that Edgar Belanga is ready to really mix it up at the world level with guys like Canelo, like Diego Pacheco, like David Benavidez, like John Ryder, like, um, you know, just, just them guys at the, top, at the top, Caleb Plant, you know, them, them kind of guys. So um, we're going to see. We're, we're going to find out what he's made of it. And, you know, if he's not careful, if he's not on his P's and Q's, because really, Jason Quigley is very experienced. He's, he's been, you know, um, he's fought in the you know Olympics. He's He's been in the World Amateur Championships. I believe he might have even medaled. Um, he's fought the likes like Shane Mosley Jr., Demetrius Andrade. He's fought some good fighters. Um, so he's not going to be intimidated. And, I, and I, I actually expect this to be a pretty fun fight. You know, New York, Puerto Rico versus Ireland should be a great crowd. We know the Irish back their fighters as well. So, um, yeah. Let, 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 let me know what you guys think. What do you think about Edgar Belonga fighting uh, Quigley? If he gets past his test, then I would like to see him against like a John Ryder next or something like that. Jesse Hart. But uh, you guys give me your thoughts. You know, make sure you guys take the time to subscribe. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me. But I'm just a kid from Daniel. So until next time, take care, guys. Thank you for watching another video on the untouchable True School Sports Empire. For more great boxing content just like this video, click right here and make sure you subscribe. Much love from sunny South Florida.